Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the linked list data structure in C++. So linked list is something that has a node and a pointer to the next node. And it's good for removing or adding items that's in the middle of the list. So unlike arrays, you have to like push everything over to add something. List, you could just change what it's pointing to. So that makes inserting or deleting things in the middle a lot easier. And We'll just jump right into it. So start off with a include aisle stream, and then we're going to have a class node. So this node is will hold the value and the pointer to our next node. So we're going to define our public, and our constructor pass in our value, and then our next node, which will be a pointer we call next. And then we're actually going to leave the value public. And same with the node pointer. I guess in this case, we technically don't need the M, but I'm just going to leave it for clarity. So we have our next is going to be next. And then our value is going to be value. So that will create our node class. So the node will be the foundation to set up our linked list class because the linked list will be constructed of these nodes. So we have a linked list here. This is our linked list class. Again, we have our public and privates. So inside our public, let's go ahead and make a linked list constructor. And inside, we want to initialize our head to point to a null pointer. So to actually use this, we want to have a node star call head. And initially, it's pointing to nothing, meaning that it's an empty linked list. So to add items to this linked list, we're going to break it up into a few different parts. We're going to have something that adds to the front and to the back, and then just adding uh, in general, like somewhere in the middle. So we're going to have a void add to front. We're going to pass in value. And inside, we're going to create a node pointer called temp node and set that equal to a new node and pass in value and our head. So next we want to set head to point to this new node. And we're gonna call the new node is our temp node, so that's what our head will be pointing to. So that's how you add it to the front. And then next is you want to add to the back. So add to back. Again, we're going to pass in value. Okay, So inside, we want to do something similar where we're, we're creating uh, another node inside. So we're going to say node and call this previous last node. And you'll see why in a bit. And we're going to set that equal to our head. So the idea is we want to loop through until uh, we hit a null pointer. So while previous last node is not equal to the null pointer. What we want to do is keep pointing to the, the next one. Okay, so we're going to say previous last node is previous last node next. Okay, so now we want, after we got to the end of the list, we're going to create a node and call this last node and create a new node and pass in value and null pointer. Then what we want to do now is take our previous last node's um, next value and set it equal to our last node. Okay, so what that does is we know our previous last one and then we create our last one. Then we could take the pointer to the second to the last one and then point it to the very last one. So that's what the add to back does. And then now for a general function, we call void add node. We're going to pass in a value. 
So inside here, what we're going to do is we want to do our standard check to see if our linked list is empty. So if head is the null pointer. So if it is empty, then you're going to add to the front, right? So we're going to say add to front and then pass in value. Otherwise, we're actually going to try to insert the items in some sort of um, like small to big order. So we're going to compare the values. And this is arbitrary. You could kind of do whatever method that's appropriate for you. So in here, we're going to say if the value is less than the current heads value, then we're going to add to front and pass in the value. Otherwise, we're going to do something. OK, so otherwise, the other case we have here is we're going to create a new node, call this temp node, and then pointed to my head. And then while temp node, uh, the next value is not the null pointer. We're going to say if value is greater than temp node uh, and value is less than temp node dot next dot value. So basically, if it's somewhere in between, let's see. So a value is greater than temp node and value and value is less than, OK? So if that's true, we want to break. Otherwise, we're going to keep incrementing. So temp node equals temp node um, next. So what, what this logic does is pretty much keep looping through the list until you're somewhere in between the two values, OK, simply put. And then once that's true, once you get to that point, you're going to create a new node. I'm going to call that new node, new node, and then pass in value. And then we're going to use the temp node's uh, next value, or the next pointer. And then, so that's our new one. And then the temp node's next is going to be actually pointing to the new node. So temp node next equals new node. OK, so we just created a new node here, and then that that pointer is pointing to the temp node's next one. And then the next one is going to be holding the new node. OK, so let's go ahead and add some. We don't have a print function yet, so let's just make a print. Let's see, this is going to call the void print list here. And inside, we're going to have a node star temp node. And then we're going to point that to head. And then while temp node is not equal to the null pointer, we're going to print out the content. So temp node value, and then our new line. And then we're going to take the temp node and keep incrementing. OK, so print, increment, print, increment until hitting a null pointer, which is the end. So that will do our print. So let's make our function here our main. OK, so we're going to make a linked list called myll. And then myll.add node. I could add a 1 here. And then maybe just some more numbers called 1, 2, 3. OK, and then we want to print it out. 
And if I run this code, we should be able to see, yep, our list prints out one, two, three here, okay? Now let's just go ahead and remove something. Um, we need to first make our remove function. So let's go ahead and add it just down here. So we're gonna call void remove node, pass in the value we wish to remove. And we wanna start off by having a node pointer called temp node and set it equal to head. So you wanna start in the beginning of the list. And then if temp node, if the value that we're looking at is the value that we're trying to remove, we're gonna set m head equals to m head next. And then we're gonna keep looping through. So temp node is not equal to null pointer. So inside the while loop, what we're gonna do is do some check. We're gonna say if temp node, uh, temp node next is not equal to null pointer and temp node next and then the value. So if the next value is equal to value, then what we're gonna do is break. Otherwise, we're gonna keep incrementing. So temp node equals temp node dot, or it should be temp node. Next. Okay, so if temp node next is not null pointer and the temp node's next value is equal to the value, then we're gonna exit, okay? And then finally, we're gonna say if temp node is not equal to our null pointer, then we're gonna say temp node next is equal to temp node next, and then next again. So basically we're having the temp node's next pointer point to the next one because the item that we're moving disappeared, okay? Okay, so let's run through the logic again for a remove node. We set a temp node pointer and then we say if temp node's value is the value, then the head is gonna be the, the next value, right? And then we look at the temp node while it's not a null pointer. We say if the temp node's next is not a null pointer and if the temp node's next value is the value, then exit. Otherwise, we want to keep uh, pointing to the next one. And then if temp node is not null pointer, we want to say temp node's next value, temp node's next pointer is going to be the next next pointer because that's that's the item we're removing. Okay, so here if I do a my ll dot remove node and then let's say we're moving two and print it, we should just see one three. Okay, so that seems to work. And then let's see one last function we want to have is maybe have a find node. So bool find node, pass in value. So we have a node star temp node equals m head. And we say while temp, while temp node is not null pointer. And we say if if the temp node's value is equal to value. So if we found it, return true. Otherwise, we want to keep incrementing. So temp node equals temp node, 
and the next value. And then after we've exhausted the whole list, we want to return false because we didn't find it. Okay. So we could do a quick check and just say bool found equals my ll dot find node. And let's say we want to find number 11. 11 shouldn't be in there. So we put a breakpoint and run this. We should confirm that this should say false. So inside it says found is false, okay? So that pretty much summarizes how you would implement a link to list in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.